Hey there, it's Jill with Cherry Picked, and I just wanted to hop on and teach you guys something new today. This comes in with the question about emails and automations and how to use the back end of this builder. So this first video, I think I'm going to break this up into a three or four part series um, just because there are, there's so much ground to cover. Um, but the first area that I want to address is just all that's available to you. So you have the dashboard here, which is going to be all of your last campaign sent. Um, you can add subscribers, you can create lists, and you can create automation flows. So the first thing to know is that you can do both one off emails. So like your holiday emails, your happy birthday emails, etc. By using the campaign feature, you can also do automations which I will just show you. So if Jane comes onto my website and they fill out a form for num the item number four, they're going to get the email associated with what they asked for. Then it's going to wait a day. And then Jane is automatically enrolled into my 52 week sequence. So that sequence is going to be my follow up once a week over the course of a year. Um, and it'll be random emails. Um, there is actually a system in place, so they're not that random, um, but um, I will come out with some help on that as well. Um, it's very strategic in how you email your clients, if it's prospect centric, if it's sales, if it's just checking in, there's different weeks in which you send different content. Um, so I believe I have that in my freebies page. If you go to cherrypickedwebco.com forward slash digi downloads, um, and that's D I G I downloads. Um, that will be my page of freebies that you can go on there and kind of grab what you're wanting to know. So that's what an automation looks like. Um, so now that we know the difference between automations and campaigns, um, I already went through the dashboard with you. You have your list and subscribers. So these are all my subscribers, but then you can have them segmented into lists. So I know how I know all of these people. You can add a list right up here. Um, you can add a new list of subscribers. You put the list name. And then on the next page, I believe you either, you can type in one email and one name, which is super inefficient. I don't recommend doing that or you can import a CSV. Now, any of my clients who have large numbers of subscribers <clears throat> or followers, they will tell you that if they've tried to use this platform and their list is not scrubbed, they will get an error message saying their account is now locked down. So that means I have to go into the back end of my stuff and I have to basically tell my support team that no, you are not a detriment to that person's inbox. And we have to get the flag removed by sending a new and clean scrubbed list email. And then that way they can remove the flag. That is a very nice way to tell you it is a pain in the butt. So if I tell you to scrub your list, make sure you do so or else your account will be flagged. The next thing we have to go over is that there will be sending limits. So it's kind of like a credit card. So when you first get a credit card, um, my first ever business credit card that I got was $500 limit. It's now up to $7,000 limit. And that is because I was what a responsible user of that credit card. So it's the same thing here with these emails. These emails are very, very different than an active campaign or a MailChimp or anything like that. Um, it's a lot more secure and there's a lot more parameters that you have to fall within. But once you abide by their rules, the possibilities and opportunities become endless. You'll also know that my open rates are extremely high. So I challenge you to go into your emailing system that you have currently and look at your open rates and your read rates. If they are higher than mine, I would love to see screenshots. Um, I'm just saying this because I have used other platforms and my, my open rates are very, very low. Um, Another thing with this platform is you do have templates. So you can come back here. You can see all of the templates that are made for you. You can also create your own templates if you are a creative and you desire to do that. 
or um, every email I send, I actually use this boring one right here. It works great, gets the point across, and people love to read it. And then lastly, for this tutorial, you have your settings. So last thing I'll say when it comes to emails and automations with Cherry Picked, you have to use a verified domain email. Um, why? Well, this helps to prevent your emails from going to spam, from going to trash. Um, and that's why my open rates are really high, because when you get my emails, they come across in your inbox as a legitimate email from me. And that is because it's being sent by a paid email service. Um, fun fact for you guys in here, I do have a friend in cybersecurity. If you are a chiropractor or doctor of any kind, um, you should be using a paid email service to protect yourself um, from anything when it comes to your email. So if you're using an email service that is free to use and you're sending sensitive patient information back and forth, you can actually get in trouble for that. Um, I'm in the state of Florida. I believe he practices in the state of Florida. So just keep that in mind with that advice too. But I always just recommend upgrading your service. Google is a great one. I think it's like $6 a month for an email with your domain. So for example, my email is jill at cherry picked web co. There's a bunch of records that I will add into your DNS for you that then become a verified email address. You cannot email through this platform without one. Um, so that's the main thing as well. But in the next video, um, we will go through on how to set up a campaign. I believe I covered a lot in this email. Um, lastly is uh, one more thing, brand details. So this is where you would put your company name, address, your name, your sender address, um, et cetera, and you would save that. And then so all of your information is auto-populated and then you're abiding with email um, spam acts as well. So again, this email system is set up for your success. It is a little bit more hefty than those other guys. There are a little bit more parameters than the other guys, but once you get through all of those parameters and those limits are lifted, um, then the sky is the limit. Um, as I'm talking, I'm coming up with questions, so I can already hear you guys asking, well, what are the parameters? Great question. Number one is you need to have a verified domain, which is not hard um, as long as I have access to your domain. Number two, um, you'll have a sending limit of a thousand emails and they see how those emails perform to make sure that you're not sending spammy content. It's to protect them, it's to protect you, and it's a, to protect your users. Once you hit those two things, then I'm pretty sure that you are free to send as many emails as your little heart desires. If you send too many, they bounce, whatever, then they, they reconsider your account. So we just have to be smart when we send our content and I know that all of you will be. So if you have any questions, please email me, jill at cherrypickedwebco, and we can hop on the phone, we can hop on a Zoom to help you figure this portion of your platform out. But I appreciate all of you, and I hope this was helpful. Bye now.